Today we're going to learn how to add depth of field in Blender, something really important to control the focus of the viewer in our image. So let's see how to do it. I'm going to delete this cube and I'm going to create a monkey. So mesh monkey. And I'm going to do different copies. So I'm going to press Shift D, G, Y, and I'm going to add it here. And now I want to repeat this action several times. So I'm going to press Shift R. So I have different copies. Now I'm going to press 0 to see the camera view. And I want to move the camera view so I can see all these copies inside the camera view. So I'm going to click here. By the way, I'm using Blender 4.1. Now I'm going to click here and I'm going to try to match all of the copies inside the frame. Something like that, more or less. I'm going to click here and now zoom in so you can see better what we are going to do. Perfect. Now let's go to the render view and I'm going to make the background darker. So I'm going to click here and make it darker. And I'm going to click here so we don't get distracted by these lines. And now what we want is to add depth of field. So we need to work with the camera. So let's select the camera, go to the icon of the camera, and to add depth of field, we need to select depth of field. So click here, and now let's open this panel. And here we have the focus distance. So what is this? This is basically where is the focus. So we can control the distance with the focus. If you work it with a reflex camera, you know what I'm talking about. So now it's really close, so that's why everything is blurred. And you can make it more far away or closer. And also what you can do is to play with this. For example, if I want to put the focus here and I want all the other copies blurred, then I need to decrease the f-stop. So if you decrease this, what you are making is the place that is being focused smaller. So let's select the minimum value, 0 0.1. Now the focus, as you can see, is here. So now, with the focus distance, we can move this. For example, now it's more or less here. I'm going to increase this so you can see better. And if I increase this, you can see that we are moving the focus distance. So now it's here. And you can move it like that. And you can animate this, creating keyframes. Or what you can do, for example, if you want to focus this copy, you can select here the object you want the focus. So now I'm clicking here, and here is the focus. If I want this one, then I delete this, and I say, please, here. However, if you want to be a pro, then use the trick I'm going to show you right now. Instead of doing this, we are going to use an empty. So let's go to add, empty, and create a plane axis. And now let's come back to the camera, and we are going to select, to control the focus, the empty. So now, moving the empty, let's click here to see the empty. I'm going to select the empty, and I'm going to press S to make it bigger so I can see better the lines where it is. So now with G, we can move this, but if you want to move it better, then I recommend you to press N, and now we are playing with the Y axis. So just click the Y axis. So now, if I press this, I can move the empty, and I'm moving the focus. Now we have the focus here, so we can animate the focus with the empty. And it's easier to control where the viewer should focus. Now it's here, and let's move it here. So for example, we can do this transition. I'm going to leave it here, and let's create a keyframe. And I want, for example, until here, move it until the end. And let's create another keyframe. Let's go to the beginning. Let's hide this and press N. And let's press play. And now it's moving in this direction. So this is a better way to use the focus in Blender. Let's change the angle so we can see a better example. I'm going to click this object and I'm going to rotate the camera. I'm going to click here and I'm going to try to make it like this. And I'm going to try to zoom so we can see it better. For example, something like that. And now let's come back at the beginning and let's see the difference. Okay, it's going too fast, so I'm going to delay the keyframes. I'm going to press N, clear keyframes, and I'm going to move it manually. So just here. As you can see, we have a better control to do this effect. So now the focus is right here. By the way, you don't need a lot of objects to use this trick. You can use an object and do a close-up 
so you are really close to the object and just do this animation really slow where you focus all the parts of the object and now we are here and we are changing the parts of the object so we can focus better in the details and if you want to focus in the other object just move it so look how cool it is to do this animation or just for an image with a depth of field so I hope you like this trick and if you want to learn more tricks about Blender I recommend you to subscribe, give a like and see you in the next video.